Hey, I'm Pat. Today on The Daily Devo, we're gonna talk about the simplicity of prayer. One of the first century philosophers made fun of the pagans of his day who were, quote, fatiguing the gods with their prayers. Interestingly, a few decades before that, Jesus spoke similar words when teaching you and I how to pray. He warned about us turning prayer into some kind of complicated show of endless, mindless words. In Matthew chapter 6, Jesus said this. I'm going to read Matthew 6, verses 7 through 8. When you pray, don't babble on and on as the Gentiles do. Jesus is saying this. They think their prayers are answered merely by repeating their words again and again. Don't be like them, for your Father knows exactly what you need even before you ask him. Now, now let me work backwards in these two verses and note two things that Jesus identifies. Number one, Jesus reminds us that God doesn't need us to pray for information. I mean, think about it. You and I in our prayers are never going to inform God of something he didn't already know. So what's the purpose of praying? We're going to get to that in a moment. But the second main thing that we see in these two verses about prayer is that the, use, the, the, the uselessness of babbling on and on. Jesus' point is to quit using the same words or phrases over and over and over and over and over to the point that they don't even mean anything to you anymore. It's not that Jesus is forbidding, forbidding repetition. Jesus, being a devout Jew, probably prayed a rep repetitive prayer. The Jewish people by that time were taking the Shema, Deuteronomy chapter 6, and they would quote it every morning and every night. So Jesus probably grew up every morning and every night saying, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Elohino, Adonai Echad, in Hebrew, the Shema. It was a repetitive prayer every day, every morning, every night. So it's not that Jesus is forbidding repetition, but he's telling us that true prayer is not a vain, meaningless repetition. It's not a bunch of words that we repeat in some mindless fashion. Jesus is trying to get us to understand that true prayer, it's not about repetition, it's about relationship. When it comes to prayer, it's quality, not quantity. It's truth, not length. It's honesty and transparency, not polished words. Sometimes the shortest prayers have the most prayer in them. Simply put, prayer is simply put. It's not some kind of formula. So today, let's you and I have some real, transparent, honest conversations with our God. In fact, start right now. Right now, just tell God what's on your mind. Tell him how much you need him. Tell him how much you revere him. Tell him what you need. Right now. 